Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today we are doing something a little bit different, something that is not makeup related. Me and my wonderful husband are going to be answering some questions. There are a few never have I ever questions in there. Um, we were going to do a video where I do a Halloween look on him or attempt to do one. We could do that next time. Yeah, he's not feeling too well today. He's got a little bit of a sinus headache, but we still decided to film something because we haven't uploaded in a week. Okay. All right, so let's get started. What is the okay, first question? Okay, do you question? want me to ask the first question or do you want to ask the first question? It's up to you. Okay, question number one, how did we meet? Do you want to answer or should I? I can answer it. Okay. Okay, well, uh, her and my brother went to school together. And one day I was picking up my brother from school and I, you were waiting on your, on someone to pick you up. I think your mom or your dad to pick you up from school. He's telling it all wrong, by the way, but okay, keep going. Oh, no. I'm interested. Yeah. And then, so I seen you mm -hmm. and then I asked my brother about you. Okay. And then back then there was, it wasn't kind of like this, you know, social media and stuff like that. So no, it was actually emails. Yeah, it was. That's how old we are. Right? That's how we met. That's kind of how we met. So actually, the full story, because clearly he's not from America. He's got his Australian accent. So w when I was in high school, my parents decided to move to Lebanon because we're both Lebanese. And his family had also decided to move to Lebanon from Australia. So me and his brother basically bonded over the fact that we were like these angsty teenagers that didn't want to be in Lebanon. And um, we were out one night, and then he came to pick his brother up from our friend's house. Oh, that's how it was, yes. <laughs> yeah. And then he saw me, and he asked about me. But I don't really think he thought too much into it, but his brother was, like, my best friend. So I think he was, like, super excited, like, oof, my brother, my best friend got to together. That would be kind of cool. So he kept telling me, like, oh, my brother thinks you're cute. And I ended up moving back here, and then I messaged him on MSN Messenger. I pursued him. He asked about me, but I pursued him. Is that how it went? Yeah. And his oh. screen name on MSN Messenger when I messaged him was a Tupac quote. What was it? No, it wasn't Tupac. It was oh. Tyson. Cause oh, I, Tyson. I, was, I really liked Mike Tyson. It Mike was, Tyson, right. Uh, loved, what was it? Uh, hated by... F no, loved by few, hated by most, but respected by all. Yeah. Yeah, it was Mike Tyson. Quote. Yep. And okay. I'm sure I had something cheesy too. Okay, question number two. Where are we going out to eat? Oh, we're going out to eat. Where are Where we going? Are we going? I'd say to like a, a sushi. Either sushi or steak. Those sushi are. Sushi or steak, yeah. yeah. Sushi or steak. Um, I'm not a big sushi fan. No. Yeah. But he, you like hibachi. Oh, I love hibachi. Yeah, he loves like hibachi. Sushi, yeah, I'm just not, I'm not a big sushi fan. I love sushi, but I'm also anywhere where they have a good steak. I'm, yeah, yeah I'm, I'm, done. I'm down for a good steak. Yeah. All right. What's one food I don't like? What's one, what's one food I don't Okay, besides sushi. <laughs> you just kind of gave it away. Yeah. Oh, uh, hot dogs. <laughs> yeah, because yeah, her, her and her friend had this running joke about hot dogs. So. Because every time she would come over to our house, it would be hot dogs, hot dogs for, for dinner. dinner. Yeah. So. Yeah. Okay. How many brothers and sisters do I have? Um. So he has four brothers and one sister. You have two brothers and one sister. Yes. Okay. Am I a morning person or a night person? Ooh, I think we're both definitely night people. Yeah, yeah, we're definitely not, so, we're not morning people. We're not morning yeah. people. You don't want to be around us in yeah. the morning. If I was collecting anything, what would it be? You probably makeup. 100%. Probably makeup. Me? Cars. Yeah. <laughs> well, I mean, yeah, I'm a dude. I love, I mean, most dudes love, like cars. Okay, do we have a song? Um. What is it? Our wedding song. Our wedding song. Do you know what it is? You can, I'm, I'm going to let you answer this one. <laughs> he doesn't know it. Um, if he hears it, he would know yeah, it. Yeah, if I hear it, I would know it. Was it by, was it by Brian Adams? No? It wasn't even a guy. It's a girl. Oh. It's a girl group, too. Who was it? Saluna. Uh, can you sing some of the songs? No, because I suck at singing. It's Saluna for all time. If you guys are interested in, oh, it. I remember, I remember. Look, that. look it okay. up. Wow, that was horrible. Brian Adams, really? Okay. What's my nickname? Aduma. Aduma. Okay. And yours is Amura. I call her Amura. Oh. oh, our nicknames for each other? I just yeah. thought in general. Oh, I don't know. Well, oh. What was your nickname when you were growing up? Mayo. Mayo. Mm -hmm. Okay. I call her Amura. Oh. 
Um, what do you think I'm talented at? Makeup, obviously. Oh, let's okay, see. What am I talented at? Making coffee. I do make, actually, I do make really good coffee. My he makes a great coffee. And knowing whatever's wrong with my car, I could literally call him and just be like, my car is making an arrr sound and he'll be like, oh yeah, that's the transmission, something, something. Yep, I, I, I am good at that. <laughs> yeah. Okay. When was the first time you said I love you to me? Oh, this is a good story. Do you remember this story of how we first said I love you? Was that after an argument? Oh my God, it was like such a big fight. I so we, um, me and my friend decided to cook dinner for him and the person that she was seeing at the time. And we invited him over to our house. And so we had dinner and my mom, it was just me and my mom because we were in Lebanon. And we, uh, what happened? You said something, like my mom was frustrated about something. So he asked, does your mom uh, hate me? Or something like that. And I didn't understand because I was still getting used to his accent. So I thought he asked me something totally different. So I was like, yeah, yeah. And he was like so mad and he ended up leaving. And I'm like, what the heck? Like I went in my room and I was crying so dramatic. And then um, my friend's guy had left with him. And so I don't know how they ended up figuring it out, but I ended up talking to him and he's like, I got so upset because I love you. That was how he said it first. And I was like, Hee! I was I'm, 16. I was so excited. I'm so sweet. You're, yeah, kind of. Okay. What's my eye color without looking? Brown. Okay. Yours is brown too. Mm -hmm. Who is my best friend? Well, I know yours, obviously Sarah. Who is your best friend? Well, I feel like your brother, Ali. If I yeah, besides my brother. I, I mean, because... I haven't been in the States for, well, I've been in what, like three, four years? Four years. Four years. Uh, but yeah, I would say uh, growing up, my best friend was uh, Muhammad uh, Ayyub. Um, yeah, Mo Mahdi. Mo Mahdi. Mm -hmm. Mo Mahdi. Yeah. Okay, I'm um, Netflix and chilling. What snack? Lay's wavy potato chips with ranch dip. Yeah, that sounds good. Yeah. <laughs> that sounds good. Okay, where was I born? Uh, for me, I was born in Detroit. I was born in Sydney, Australia. Okay, if I was, if I was any one animal, what animal would I be? If you were any one animal, mm -hmm. a sloth. <laughs> Just a koala. A koala. Because <laughs> you're Australian. You would be. You'd be a cat. A cat. I'm offended. No, why? why would I be That's a cat? That's a good thing. You know, cats are cute and, you know. Yeah, but they don't do anything. No, <laughs> no. Well, our cat is like, she's, you know, she's she's cute. She's affectionate. Okay, all right. Okay. What could I spend hours doing? Makeup. you definitely doing your makeup. Mm -hmm. What about you? Me? Watching soccer. <laughs> well, I mean, no, I'm really into like, you know, uh, like I watch a lot of YouTube videos about like lions and safari, that kind of stuff. I'm really into that. Yeah. But, I mean, I could, I could spend hours just watching a documentary about Also, lions. Also, you're into like true crime, like sports, mafia, yeah. mafia stories yeah. and stuff oh, like yeah, that. Oh yeah, I do love the mafia. Yeah. Like, mafia based on like true events. Okay, where did we meet? Uh, like we said, so we met and we, we saw each other in Lebanon, Lebanon but we yeah. started to get to know each other on MSN Messenger, which really exposes how old we are. Yeah. <laughs> okay, what were your first impressions? Um... I thought you were kind of full of yourself based on your screen name, but I thought you were cute. Okay. Yeah, loved by few, hated by many, <laughs> respected by all. I was like, okay, who does this guy think he is? <laughs> it was but. Mike Tyson. Okay, could you tell I liked you? Uh, sure, but I also got the vibe that you were a player and that you talked to every girl that would talk to you. Okay, that wasn't the case though. When, when we were talking, I wasn't speaking to anyone. When was our first kiss? Can we say this? <laughs> it was in the war, 2006, in Lebanon. We were in the war together. Yeah, there was a and war. They and were, we they were staying at our apartment because it was in a safer area. So, sorry, mom. Okay, if I'm, if I'm hanging with people, who am I hanging with? If I'm hanging with people, I don't, I'm not. Who would you be hanging out with? Honestly, it would either be like my family or Sarah, really. Like that's literally okay, and I think you would be the same. You would hang out with your family, yeah, or like your closest friend. Okay, if I'm game, if I'm gaming, what am I playing? Grand Theft Auto. 
I don't know, I'm not, I'm not a really big gamer. I'm not really into like video games, stuff like that. I, I play like FIFA here and there. Yeah. But yeah, I'm what not a big, okay. yeah, I'm not a very big gamer. I just like to, I like Grand Theft Auto throwing people out of their cars and yeah. stuff. That was literally <laughs> Okay, what is my favorite food? Uh, am I answering for you or am I answering for No, I'm asking you. Oh, Taco Bell, 100%. Taco Bell, yeah. I like wings. I like chicken, anything chicken. Chicken wings, yep. Okay, what time? Okay, that one you can't really see the question. Uh, if I won a million dollars, what would I do with it? If I won a million dollars, I mean, a million dollars is not that much money. Just be honest. I mean, it's it's a good amount. Of it's money. a good it's amount <laughs> of money. I would probably try to find some really good business ventures that I could invest in, so that way I could like increase my income. That way I could take yeah, care I of my invest, family. I would invest too. Yeah. I but would, if like, I mean, I wouldn't go out and buy a eight hundred thousand dollar house or a two hundred thousand dollar car. No, no. I, 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 I'd invest the money. Same. And then I think like if the question had been like if you won like a billion dollars, yeah, that's, that's then different. it would be different. I would be like, okay, I would retire yeah. and take care of my whole family. Yeah, but a million dollars. Yeah, I mean, I, I definitely would help out some family. You guys can tell that we think about this a lot. Yeah. Like I'm calculating like a million dollars. <laughs> we do plan it in our heads. Yeah. Yeah. If I'm making a sandwich, what is in it? Mm. So neither of us really like deli meat, so I can say mm. right off the bat, maybe maybe you like roast beef a little bit. I don't mind roast beef. I don't like I don't like sauces like um, like mayo, mayo, mustard, mustard that same. barbecue sauce. I don't just it doesn't uh, it doesn't do it for me. I like and a bit of ketchup. But yeah. Besides that, yeah, I'm kind of boring when it comes to that. I like Middle Eastern food, like like so. I'll I'll eat like a chicken shawarma sandwich with like some hummus or some garlic sauce and pickles and fries. That's like my type of sandwich. Okay, these are never have I ever. Okay. Never have I ever said my partner's cooking was terrible. Have you? You've never cooked for me, so. I've made you. I've made you breakfast. I've made you eggs. I make the best eggs, by the way. Have you I, I ever make the said? Best, I make the best scrambled eggs. Have you ever said behind my back? that my cooking was terrible <laughs> no oh you're so, no. Full of shit. You're so full of shit. no i haven't actually no you, your cooking is good I, I like your cooking oh thank no, you no if it's if something's not good i tell you okay it needs a bit of salt it needs a bit of this but no for the most part i think in the beginning i mean i was only 17 so i think in the beginning there were some questionable dishes that i made i'm like i'm sure you said at one point like oh god i'm gonna starve never have i ever dated someone for their money or looks no me either, you know. No. No, yeah. Uh, let me pick the next one. <laughs> Never have I ever thought of my partner as arrogant. <laughs> we can be, I mean, you, you can be a little arrogant sometimes. So can you. Yeah, I can, yeah. Yeah, we're yeah, both. Yeah, we're both, depending on the situation, I guess. That doesn't make us look too good. Okay, next. <laughs> like, we're okay with it. Like, no, yeah, no, arrogant. no. I mean, we're not saying it's a, it's a good thing. Never have I ever forgotten my partner's birthday. No, I've remembered. I remembered pretty much every single time. You want to know why? Why? Because I always because let you, you know ahead of time that my birthday's <laughs> coming up. Okay. Never have I ever spoken ill of my partner's parents. Oh, 100% <laughs> I have. 100% I have. Absolutely. But I, you know what? I don't think that that would be something... <laughs> I don't think it would be normal to be married as long as we've been married and not. And I know that you have, you've spoken ill of my parents as well. Like, that's going to happen. But I love them. Never, and I know he loves mine. Never have I ever said no to picking up the kids from school. No. Well, I do most of that stuff. Let's just be honest. I pick, I pick them up from school. I mean, I've dropped them off at school a couple of times. No, I don't mind that. I, I actually like picking him up from school or dropping him up at, at school. I, I don't mind that at all. Yeah, I think if he, he was able to, he would. He's just... The work hours. The work hours are a little bit difficult, yeah. Okay. Never have I ever said no to cleaning the baby's diaper. <laughs> okay, interesting story. My husband has never... Once. Never changed a diaper. Once. Okay, once, let me tell you the one time. Mia was in a swimming diaper and she was potty trained basically at that point. So her diaper was wet. All he did was take off the wet diaper and put on a dry one. Okay, I did it though. Okay, but you didn't like wipe and like like poop I and did. everything. I did. No, okay, no, she didn't poop. Three kids, not one diaper. Okay. Making me look bad. 
Uh, next question. Never have I ever. Oh no, we did that one. Never have I. Never have I fallen asleep on my partner while watching TV. Oh, oh my god. All the time. Oh my god. <laughs> All the oh my time. God. I fall asleep during movies. And the sad part is, is like, I kind of like tell him like, so you're not going to watch a movie with me? So you don't want to watch a show with me? And I'll get him like all excited. He'll make popcorn and stuff and I'll look over at the couch. And yeah, and he'll be like dead asleep. <laughs> okay. Never have I ever lied to impress someone. I think everyone's done this. Oh, 100%. Yeah, everyone's, everyone's. You know, you somewhere. like, you fluff up your, you know, your position at work a little yeah, bit. Yeah, I'm pretty sure everyone's done that. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. I mean, uh, that's basically like lying on your resume, right? Like a Pretty lot much. of people have like extra things on their resume that are not actually true. Yeah. Mm, I think that's it. That's about it pretty much. Okay. Did we miss any questions? Mm. Oh, we didn't do the, oh, oh yeah, we didn't do this one. Okay. What's my weirdest habit? Yeah, what's, yeah. what's my weirdest habit? Am I asking you or are you asking me? I'm... No, so it's your video, so I'm asking you. What's your weirdest... No, no, what's, what's your weirdest habit? What's my weirdest habit? What's my weirdest habit? I don't know. You would have to tell me because I don't really know. Probably. I just eat a lot. <laughs> no. Uh, well, she makes a funny noise when she sleeps. Oh. And... Uh, me and my daughter, we make fun of her. So yeah, she makes like a funny sound when she sleeps. So yeah, me and my daughter, we, we, we make fun of her. I wouldn't call it like a, a weird, I mean like a, yeah, it's a weird habit. Yeah, it's I funny mean, though, it's a funny habit. It's literally, it's not even that serious. Like if I'm super tired, which I am because- It's not snoring, no, it's not snoring. It's, it's kind of like literally a, like, a, like a moaning sound. It's like a moaning sound when she's asleep. Yeah. Okay. What's your weird habit? Maybe smoking. But that's not a weird habit. That's just oh, a, a bad, bad habit. habit yeah. yeah. I don't know. I don't really have weird any habits. I'm, I don't know. I'm pretty much perfect. No. <laughs> okay. Okay. Um, okay. You bake me a cake for my birthday. What kind of cake is it? Ooh. Mm. Uh, for you, what would be the cake that you would like? Honestly, I feel like you would eat anything. I love cake in general. Yeah, yeah he loves cake. I, I do love cake. Um, cheesecake. Che he likes cheesecake. I remember, I remember that there was a one time you were into the uh, the velvet cake. The red velvet. The red velvet. Yeah. yeah were... There was like a phase where it became like very in. Mm -hmm. Honestly, I'm not that big of a, like a cake person either. Like if I had to choose, I think I would choose like a cheesecake yeah. or maybe oh, like a tiramisu. The tiramisu. Yeah, a tiramisu. Tiramisu for one time. Yeah. That's really good. Mm, let's see. Mm. Hang on. Let me see if I can find some more questions. Do, 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 do. I feel so fancy. I feel like I'm a news anchor with my cup of coffee. Okay, never, never have I ever. Okay, never. Okay, never have I ever rode a motorcycle. I've never. You've never rode a motorcycle? You've been on a motorcycle behind me in Lebanon. No. Yeah. No. Yeah. Wrong girl. I've never been. I'm terrified to get on a motorcycle, let alone get on one in Lebanon. Okay, okay. never have I ever lost a bet. I'm sure I have. But I don't, I'm, I'm like the worst person to make a bet with because if I lose, I'm not paying up. Okay. <laughs> never have I ever went skinny dipping. Yeah. I've never been skinny dipping. Oh well, no, we went together. When did we go skinny dipping? <laughs> in the pool. In the dia. Oh, we did? Yeah. Oh, we did, didn't we? Oh, we did. We were such rebels. Oh, well, we did. Never have I ever broken a bone. Nope, never. I have. I broke my arm once when I was a kid. I remember I was, I think it was like in third or fourth grade. How'd you break it? I was uh, jumping on the monkey bars. Oh. And then my hand, I just slipped, and then my hand went behind my back, and it, oh. I don't understand the monkey bars. I feel like that's so dangerous. I don't let my kids go on them. <laughs> that mom. Never have I ever lived alone. Um, no, I haven't lived. I mean, I've lived alone, like with my kids, like just me and the kids for a minute, but that's it. 
Never have I ever been on a boat. We've when we were escaping the, boat, the war, yeah. You have to answer these too. We've been on a boat. We, uh, we, we rented a, a pontoon. Yeah, that too. It's, it's a boat, kind of. Never have I ever used a fake ID. No. Me too. I've never had to. Never I ever, never have I ever broken up with someone. Never have I ever got seriously hungover. No. Never have you I. You have to answer. Never have I ever <laughs> fought in public. I have. I've gotten into a fight in school. I've, yeah, I fought in public a couple of times actually. Yeah. Never have I ever skipped out on a bill. Skipped never. out on a bill? Never. never. That's so classless. Yeah, I've never, never done that. Never have I ever won the lottery. I wish. All right. Um, never have I ever had to go to court. Oh, yeah. I did. Last year. It was really terrifying. I sweat through my clothes. That was the speeding ticket? So, literally within the span of a week, I got a speeding ticket. I got pulled over in my driveway. And then that same week, I got a show cause notice because I got a, a I had to appear for ju jury duty and I forgot. I had like a million things going on. I was renovating. There's a bunch of stuff happening. So I forgot to show up. So I actually had to go to court for that and tell the judge why I didn't go to jury duty. Okay. Never have I ever drove over a curb. I'm pretty sure you have. Oh, 100%. Several times. Oh, yeah. For sure. Never have I ever loved so hard I, um peed my pants as an adult oh 100 <laughs> percent. yeah that happens all the time listen i've had three kids it's inevitable oh man never have i ever gone on the wrong train or bus no. i have on the wrong train in australia because we used to take the train everywhere oh yeah you take the train to the oops okay i'm, okay, I'm going the wrong direction never have i ever uh, cursed in the place of worship i'm pretty I sure don't I, so. I, I don't think so i don't think i have I'm pretty sure I have at the mosque, you know, when I was young and I thought I was cool. Yeah. Never have I ever tried marijuana. I have, yeah. <laughs> I, it's not for me. Never have I ever went 24 hours without showering. <laughs> Come on. if you, You're not a normal human being if you haven't gone 24 hours yeah. without showering. Never have I ever had to take a walk of shame. No. No. Mm. Never have I ever went on a Only solo Only the walk walk. down the aisle. <laughs> Never have I ever went on a solo vacation. I wish. That's the goal. Uh, yeah, I haven't. I'm a, so you wouldn't take me with you? No, not at this point in my life. I just want to go by myself. Wow. Wow. <laughs> you know, another interesting thing is we never got a honeymoon. We've actually never taken a trip just the two of us in the 13 years we've been together. Every time we try to plan something, it just never works out for some reason. I don't know. I think, like, maybe God's trying to protect me from the night that you tried to murder me or something. When the hell was that? Never have I ever ate an entire pizza by myself. Oh, I have. I Watching Miss Congeniality, I've eaten a whole large pizza with a two liter pop. Wow. Yeah. Wow. I, I was, have. like, 14, <laughs> but I, I got so sick after. Never have I ever saved a life. I mean, we keep I mean, our kids I alive. I mean, I saved my, uh, my brother. No, I'm wrong. he wasn't really dying, but he was choking on something. So, I, Technically. Yeah. Never have I ever got a tattoo. Oh, yeah. I got a couple. Oh. I was okay. going to say wrong arm. <laughs> I, have a, I have a couple on my arms. Never have I ever started a fire. A campfire. Yeah. Are you, are you guys talking about like a... Not like arson, like no, arson no, 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 shit, no. but yeah. Never have I ever got stopped by airport security. Of course. Probably every single time I fly into the U.S. Oh, yeah. They, one time they came out and they wanted to verify that, like, he actually had family yeah. here. And, it, like, I had, had, the kids had made him, like, a poster board, like, welcome home, Baba, and whatever. And she came out and as soon as she saw us, she's like, are you guys here for so-and-so? And I'm like, yeah. And she's like, oh, okay. And then they went back and got him. Yeah. So. Mm, never have I ever went viral online. Never have I ever left gum in a public space. Ew. What do you mean? Just put it like under, a, you know, if you had a public space, you, you get your gum, you just put it under the table maybe. Usually there's a garbage can literally within five feet of you. You you have. You totally have the look on your face. Next question. <laughs> Never have I ever slept outdoors for an entire night. No. Nope. Oh yeah, I have. Let's go camping with little kids. Never have I ever ran a marathon. I have. 
Well, you? not really a marathon. I mean, yeah, it's it's a marathon. It was like in Australia in um, high school. We'd have the uh, the long distance. He's a fast runner. He's like he's good with that. Stuff. No, I did pretty well. Actually. There, I think there was like five hundred runners. I think I came eighth, which isn't too which isn't too bad. Uh, never have I ever uh, given received a lap dance. I've never given a lap dance. I've received a lap dance. Good the fifth on that one. Never have I ever made a speech in front of 100 people or more. No, oh, that is like a yeah. fear for me. I would never be able to do that. Whew. I I was in high school. I didn't take speech. Like I literally tried to find any alternative because I didn't want to have to stand up in front of the class and talk. I was that kid. Um, never have I ever lied about my age. No. I mean, maybe no. when I was like younger, I wanted to sound older. I haven't. Uh, never have I ever participated in a protest. In a protest? I'm trying to think. I'm, I'm... Um, no. <laughs> Nothing recent. Yeah. My... I don't. I don't think I've ever like participated in a protest. I've definitely like spread the word on social media, but I've never actually been. Never have I ever pulled an all nighter. Oh, all oh, the time. Yeah. We've been we've been up all night. Yeah. Never have I ever regretted an apology. Yeah. You know when you apologize to someone thinking that, you know, they're then, good people. And, and then, then, they, then they're just an ass. Yeah, because I'm like a chronic, like, I'm constantly saying sorry because I just don't want people to get offended or hurt. But then when that person, when you're apologizing to that person, even though they've done something wrong, just so that you can keep things, like, on good terms. Yeah, I've regretted okay. a lot of apologies. Never, never have I ever spent more than a hundred dollars on a top. On a top? I have. I'm pretty sure you have too. Um, yeah, probably at some point. Yeah. I don't remember. Never have I ever thrown a drink at someone. No. No. I, I never so. have one handy. Never have I <laughs> ever worn someone else's underwear. Have you ever worn my boxes before? I mean, yeah, I'm sure I have. As pajamas or something. Never have I ever traveled to Europe. I've been to I've Europe. I've been to Europe. Oh. You went to Spain. Went to Spain. I've been to I'm I've been to Germany, mm. but like layovers. Mm. No, but Spain you guys were there for like a week, right? Yeah, right? we were. Yeah. Never have I ever attempted a, tr a trendy diet. I've done them all. Probably every other week. Every other week, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I've done them all. Never have I ever gone to a strip club. Never have I ever binged an entire series in one day. <laughs> Never have I ever binged an entire series in one day. Um, I don't know if I, pro I probably have like you know like on Netflix so you have like the like the narcos because they're, they're like five six uh, episodes. episodes. Yeah. yeah. So I'm like I think last night I was watching um, uh, the business of drugs. Yeah. It's like a six episode uh, series. I think I watched like four episodes last night. So. I've done, I've definitely binged like docuseries. I can't remember what, like I know that like the surviving R. Kelly thing, I think I finished that in a day. Mm. Yeah. yeah. That's it. Those are all the questions that we have. This is a, this is probably gonna be the longest video that goes up on my YouTube channel. I'm not going to edit anything out. So thanks so much for watching. If you guys like this video, then please don't forget to subscribe, turn on your post notifications and give us a thumbs up. I'd really appreciate it. And comment below what kind of videos you guys want to see. What other videos you want to see from us. Um, yeah. I guess that's it. it. All right. All right. We'll Thank talk you. to you guys in my next one. Bye.